What is good? Oh, my ballot fires, my beautiful community. How's everybody going? How's your day? Comment down below. Let me know. All right. Today's video, we'll be talking about, and as you can probably tell by this title of this video, like, why am I even saying that? We're talking about the NFT utility, right? There's a couple of questions I've been getting, and I want to answer those questions I have that people have asked me so that we can publicly, everybody can kind of understand it, everybody can be on the same page. I'm also going to be going over the white paper and just showing you a couple of updates that we made based upon the NFTs and the presale. And let's just get straight to this, all right? Let me just get straight to this and me share my screen right now. All right, cool, cool. So really quick, we made a couple of revisions for, for example, the Valify Treasury. So over here, we were just talking about one of the revisions that we made was this beautiful picture that someone submitted to us. Excellent picture. Shout out to you. I forgot. I apologize for whoever submitted this picture, but it's beautiful. It looks great. And we love it to have it as the treasury picture. Cool. Let me read this over here. I forgot exactly what was in the last one or what was in the new one, but I think what we just added was you talked more about the Genosis wallet. Let me just go over really quick. Valify aims to create a transparent, sustainable investment protocol. As a precaution, the treasury will be operating using a multi-sig Genosis wallet for increased security. The wallet address will be public at launch for full transparency. No single team member will be able to sign any transaction at an individual level. So what this means is that pretty much we have six people in our core team, six main players in our core team. And if you want to make a transaction, like taking money out of the treasury or something like that, you need to get four out of the six, we need to get four out of the six signatures in order for anything to happen. So that no individual teammate of ours can be like, yo, I want to run for this project and just try to take all the money out, all right? So we have to have four out of the six members to sign to, in order to make any transactions. And I'm talking about even the smallest amount of transactions, like a freaking dollar, you know? Obviously all that transactions is going to be completely clarified to the entire community. Most of it's going to be through polls, okay? And you're going to be able to see completely, complete transparency, what's going on. And I myself will be updating you guys or somebody on our team will be updating you guys on what's going on, all right? Obviously, all of our investments that we're, we're, we're injecting into, that's all going to be down to a vote, as you guys already know. But let's continue with over here, treasury objectives. The main goal of the treasury is to generate funds to be able to perform buybacks when the price of value token is low there, and perform burns when necessary to increase price. The valified treasury, pretty much what this means is that in our smart contract, what we have done, what we've developed is that if the price, let's say $25, okay? Let's say if the price goes below $25, we're gonna take our funds, our value token, and we're gonna burn it, in, uh, increase in scarcity and increase in the price, okay? And now that's all, that's all going to be automated, by the way, because it's not that I'm lazy, I'm just smart, you know? We'd rather have it just being done like that, you know? I don't want to have to like manually go in there and just do all the time, always get those signatures and stuff. It doesn't be an automatic thing. The Valify Treasury will be granting a minting function. This will allow the Treasury to mint new tokens around 1% of the circulating supply when there's a great volatility to the upside. Furthermore, these new value tokens will be owned by the Treasury itself and will sell them slowly to great gains without putting the value tokens at risk. If at all, this will encourage stability of the token price and the benefit and benefit the Treasury at all the same time. What we're saying is that when the price increases all, like a bunch of say, it goes from 25 to like 300 bucks. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a buyback, right? So that we can buy our own, so that we can buy, to validify a treasure, we can buy our own tokens and bring down that price a little bit. Even though me personally, I don't really see the point of bringing down the price, but it's just to create more sustainability for the future. Well, there is a point to it, okay? to create more sustainability for the future. All right, cool. Next part, first over here. Pre-sale. Let's talk about that pre-sale, guys. All right. So now we added a couple of things on here, specifically the, the actual utility, the NFT utility, which is going to be pretty cool. But let me just start from the beginning. So the beginning of everything. Valify aims to build a treasury that is fully transparent and fully working before any yield boxes are ever sold. This way, the protocol will have the buying power to purchase a token back in case the price drop. The pre-sale aims to create funds for the five essential parts of the project. Treasury, development, liquidity pool, audit, and NFT utility. Really quick right there, let me pause right there. If somebody had a question for me before, and they're like, Blade, what is a soft cap? Pretty much what this is, is that we need to be able to sell a certain amount of NFTs before we even like, launch the project. Okay? So what we have done is that if we, and I don't think we're going to have a problem hitting this, but it's just like a little insurance. So we have a soft cap 
1,400 NFTs. So we need to sell at least 1,400 NFTs for us to actually continue moving forward this project. That's pretty much what it means. If not, what we're gonna do is just refund everybody and send the NFTs back, refund everybody the money. But yeah, let's talk about the NFT. And once again, I'm 100% confident. I have no doubt that we can hit that. It's not really a big number, to be honest. But let's continue. The NFT distribution. The pre-sale consists of 5,000 NFTs in the AVAX network. Each NFT will be sold for $250,000 AVAX. There will, be, there will only be 4,750 NFTs available for purchase. 4,750 times 250 is 1,187,500. That's going to be divided up into a couple of sections. The treasury, the development of the Valify platform, liquidity pool, audit, which is surprisingly pretty expensive, and future utility and community giveaways from the NFT rewards. Cool. Let's talk about how we're going to be giving away the NFTs. For example, 60 NFTs will go to the most active community members, 60 NFTs will go to people who invite the most amount of people, 20 NFTs will go to the top Discord server boosters, 20 NFTs will go to the contributors, 50 NFTs will go to influencers and marketing giveaways, and 40 NFTs will go to Valve Team. I said that pretty quick. All right. If you guys have read that too fast, just pause it, okay? <laughs> cool. NFT utilities. Now, this is a cool part that we recently just updated, and I think you guys, well, I don't think you guys should all know what's involved in NFT. NFT utility. What the F does this NFT do? Let me tell you. The wallet that holds NFT at the moment of the pre-sale will be allowed to buy 50 value tokens at the pre-sale price per NFT. We want the, pre the price, and the price that we want to have it is around $25, okay? So the first thing, the first piece of utility that you're going to be getting is you're going to be able to buy that value token cheaper. So we don't have an exact price. It's probably around 50 of the public sale for a value token, but this NFT that you get is gonna allow you to buy that value token at pretty much half the price at like tw at $25 per value token. The second utility that is being built, and by the way, really quick, I made another video previously that was talking about all the numbers involved in buying an NFT. So if you have any questions regarding, is this profitable? How much money would I actually save? How much money would I make? Check out that video. It was titled, Valify profitability or something like that. Hold up, pause. All right, so this is the video I was talking about where we I talked, I ran over some numbers on the profitability of buying in the pre sale and NFT. So if you're, if you're interested in that and have some questions on the numbers, I mean, you can probably do the numbers yourself, but I just gave a good recap in this video talking about the numbers. I mean, we have changed some things, mainly the, the the, the utility behind NFT since I made this video, which we're going over into right now, but the prices are generally around the same. So with the prices, I mean the profitability is generally around the same still. Let's get back to this. So the second utility that's being built is a discount on the monthly fee to maintain the yield boxes. A tentative fee of $15 recharge monthly by default on yield boxes created with the pre-sale tokens, but holding this NFT will reduce this fee to only $10. Pretty much what this means, guys, is that if you have this NFT, Okay, if you bought this NFT in the pre-sale and you bought like, let's say you got like 10 yield boxes, okay? The 10 yield boxes, you're paying $150 a month just to maintain the 10 yield boxes. But by having, by being, but because you bought the yield boxes with the NFT in the pre-sale, all right? By utilizing the pre-sale tokens, you're not gonna be spending 150 bucks, you're only gonna be spending 100 bucks a month. So you're gonna be saving yourself 50 bucks off of 10 yield boxes. So pretty much per yield box, you're going to be saving $5 a month by, by holding that NFT. Maybe we're going to have it so that you stake the NFT or maybe just holding. I don't know exactly yet, but we'll come to that soon. I'll make you get, now, of course, keep you guys updated. Uh, but yeah, you'll be saving $5 per month uh, per NFT just by holding the NFT. And there will be a limit of five NFTs per wallet. I don't think we're going to have that limit, to be honest, but I can say that definitely because. I mean, I can't, yeah, I can't say that definitely because we probably could be changing that. We might not. Uh, I don't want to speak on behalf of my team on that. We're going to be talking about that and figure out what we're going to do next with that. All right. So I don't know if this is forever going to be there. I don't know how this is going to be. Uh, but like I guess I might change in the future. Token pre sale price might change in the future. This is just an estimate. Yep. Uh, over here, let's talk about really quick. The big issue with pre sale tokens, and I'm sure you guys probably know this already, one of the big issues is that. Bunch of whales get in in the beginning. They buy a whole bunch of tokens, and then when they, the price actually goes public, they sell it like crazy and they make a huge profit and they drop the price. So what we want to do is 
we give the NFT holders two options. First option is you can obviously cash off your boxes. Second thing is a vaccine period to prevent massive dump. So you're going to receive 10% of your tokens at the time of launch and 10% unlock per week for a total of nine weeks. And a lot of, and we actually got this idea, the second one, the vaccine period from another uh, launch pad. It's a, we kind of just like copied it because it was working for them. We asked them, it was working, and said it's working. So we just copied them on there because we want to just copy success, you know? Next thing over here, we can talk a little bit about more about token utility over here. The issue with other Dash protocols, the biggest issue with other protocols is the, pretty much a dump token. Uh, investors dump the token for profits, add a claim and rewards from the nodes. Ratify understands the importance of the issue and aims to solve it by giving people who hold Valley more things to do with their Valley token. We aim to develop a future utility as time goes by. The Ratify engine is allocating the necessary funds to make it possible, creating token utility, lowers ceiling pressure, and creates more opportunities for burns. There are some ideas that the Ratify is bringing forward to the community, and we have and we will have to vote on it. The first thing is the lottery system, which is already in development. And so you can check the lottery section next. It's the next section. I'll probably talk about it in this video. Price predictions on AVAX uh, and play to earn game. A couple other things that we were thinking about implementing is that by holding this NFT, you will be able, be able to get entry into a Valify, I guess, so-called party house, where we can open up a house, maybe Miami, Dubai, Puerto Rico, I don't know where. Um, We'll be up to vote once again, and you'll be able to come to the house, party with us, hang out. Another thing is be cool. We'll be like a yacht, so we'll be able to buy a super yacht, maybe not super yacht, maybe a regular yacht or a super yacht, whatever. And we'll all be able to hang out in the yacht and have just a great time there. Uh, there are just these are just a couple of initial ideas. We're gonna, obviously we're listening to the community, we we'll run polls, and make sure everything is completely transparent, and develop some more ideas for token utility in the future. A couple other things that we're implementing is an exit tax. Keeping tokens inside the ecosystem is very important. There will be zero fee for compounding, zero fee for claiming, but there will be a 10% fee on selling. 8% of that fee will go to the Valify payroll fund and 2% will be burnt to increase the price of the token. One other quick thing let's talk about that we want to talk about regarding the actual NFT is that somebody asked me this, Blade, what if I don't have an NFT, but my buddy does? My buddy has a bunch of value tokens and he takes those value tokens and he sends them to me. Would I be able to create a... Uh, a yield box, we're going to be able to create a yield box during the pre-sale without having a NFT. Uh, no, you wouldn't be able to, especially in the pre-sale, because the NFT is going to be linked to your, your account, probably going to be staked, like I said. So what I'm trying to say is uh, you won't be able to, you have, during the pre-sale, you have to have an NFT in order to create the yield box. Token utility, we talked about this, lottery. Let's talk about the lottery real quick, because this is really cool, and I like how we had it set up. Uh, Playing the Valify lottery gives you a chance to win huge value prizes, burn tokens, and support the ring victims. Participant, and this is the main reason why I like it, is the fact that because we have this lottery, it's also going to increase the price because the way we have it set up is to allow us to burn tokens, further increasing the price. And it it would be a little bit self-explanatory once I kind of get into this. But the specifics of it, so there's going to be one lottery per week, Ticket cost for lottery is 0.1 value per ticket. There's no limit on the amount of tickets that can be purchased. Personally, one ticket would give us, give users a round six digit combination with each digit between one and nine. Match numbers from the left side to the, of the ticket to the right to win prizes. The more numbers you match, the greater the prize pool. So obviously you can tell a bunch of value, t- value tokens will be burnt, increasing the price. Uh, you guys want to have, oh, one other thing that we're thinking about doing is that when you have the NFT, now, we don't know if we're going to do this, but it's just a couple of thoughts that the team have. By having the NFT, we'll also double or maybe we'll multiply the amount of uh, entries that you'll be able to have. So let's say, for example, I mean, this is off, off of our mind. We don't know if we're going to actually do this. But let's say that you have one, you got the NFT. Let's say that you put one value token in. By having this NFT, it's going to double the amount of tickets you get. That's just some ideas that we have that we're going want to implement. Uh, oh yeah, Valify does not keep any percentage of the funds generated from the sale of lottery tickets. 100% of the value tokens generated from the sales will be returned back to the prize pool. There are no winners in a round. The unclaimed value tokens will roll over into the next round and they will be re- redistributed among the prize pools. And this is how the prize pool allocation will work. Match the first number, 2%, second number, 3%, third, three numbers, 5%, four numbers, 10%, five numbers, 20%, six numbers, 40%. 10% we burn and 10% will go to the ring relief fund. 
cool. Uh, the roadmap, I don't think we have changed anything just yet. Let me just go over a really quick couple of things I already done. P1, release white paper, create Discord, create Twitter, Telegram, preset requirements, initial uh, release, initial website landing page, expand down to utility, mint site testing. A couple of things that we still got to do is you got to do the pre sale, initiate treasury investments, initiate development of value tokens. Q2, official audit, release value token, website, and DAP with the yield box creation and public treasury functionality. Based on coin market cap and coin gecko, release a value lottery. Begin distributing, bring relief funds, price prediction game, wrapping value to BNB and Ethereum. By the way, price prediction game, uh, once again, we don't know if we're exactly going to do that. That was in the token utility. It's all we've done to a vote and things like that. But wrapping value to BNB and Ethereum so that we'd be able to send them to the Ethereum and BNB and have the same prices and stuff. Boosting rewards and NFTs, like I said over here. So I don't think we're gonna boost rewards off the yield box. Uh, we're definitely not gonna do that, but boost tickets uh, is part of what we're gonna do for the lottery. Continue to grow the protocol and social media presence, doxing pro process, we kind of already been doxed. Uh, expand token utility, uh, invest into community elected early stage crypto projects that are building new protocols and provide funding for startups. I love that one, by the way. Invest into community elected early stage crypto projects that are building new protocols and provide funding for startups. Q4, become a true down, provide voting rights based upon value held and yield box own. Uh, but yeah, cool guys. I hope this video helped. I hope it helped clarify some of the questions you guys might have. And I hope you guys have a better understanding on how Valify uh, is going to work. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, put in the comments below, put in the Discord, contact us directly, and we'd be more than happy to help you guys. And one last thing, guys. I see you up there. That's the top. I see the top. Peace out.